Hi everybody. I'm here in my childhood backyard in Rockport, Massachusetts, and it's 4th of July. It's a kind of cool windy morning and I'm squeezing in a quick 10 minute practice. I hope you can hear me okay with the wind blowing. I don't have my mat here, so we're just doing this on the ground, which is very grounding and I hope you enjoy. So let's start actually standing up. So standing up, you can start at the top of your mat. I'm going to start facing the camera. On your inhale, reach your arms overhead, interlace your fingers, press your palms up toward the sky, and then rock side to side, opening up the side waists. When you inhale, press your palms up, look up. When you exhale, draw your belly in, slowly fold. Let the crown of the head drape down last into Uttanasana. Bend your knees quite a bit, especially because we're just warming up. And let your head spill down. Shake your head out, yes. Take your hands onto your lower back. Give a little press. And then heel toe your feet a little wider apart toward the outside edges of your mat. And slide your hands down toward the outer ankles. And let your head go. Big full inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. And then draw your belly in slowly. Come on up. All the way up to stand and reach your arms overhead. Big full inhale, palms press, exhale, bring your hands down. Step your feet closer together. So I'm gonna go through moon salutation, which is the opposite of the sun salutation, and it's very cooling and soothing. You can do it any, any time of day, especially when you don't wanna bear weight on your hands or arms. So <clears throat> let's see if I can remember it. So take your left arm over to the right for the side bend. Press through your left hand and inhale and exhale. Come back to center. Step your feet wide apart. Turn your toes out and bend down into a goddess squat. Palms face your ears, cactus arms. Tailbone drops down. Good. And we're going to drop down a little bit lower. Then straighten the legs. Turn both toes to the right. Wrap that right hip underneath. Release your right fingertips down to the outside edge of your right heel and take Trikonasana, looking up at your left hand. Anchor the outside edge of your left foot and look up toward the sky. Keep drawing your ribs in toward the belly. And inhale, knees are a little soft. Exhale, release your left hand down. Hands frame that front foot. Turn the back toes in a little bit and fold into Parsvo Tanasana. Right sitting bone dragging back. Then bend your right knee, drop your left knee down, take the top of your left foot flat, and we come up to crescent lunge. Root through the top of that left foot. Spread your right toes. Inhale, look up toward the sky. Exhale, release your hands to frame that front foot. Now take your right hand to the inside of your right knee, and then flip your left toes up, dropping your right heel down into that skandasana stretch. So we root that left heel. You can look at your left foot. And then pressing through your right foot, lift your hips, adjust your feet, and drop your tailbone down into a squat. Bringing your heels a little closer together. Toes turned out. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Then we're going to exhale, shift into that left foot, and extend your right heel out, coming into Skandasana on the other side. So you use your left arm on the inside of that left knee to resist and looking to the right. I like to keep my hand, my right hand on my quadricep or the ground. More advanced would be to take the right arm up. Inhale there. Exhale, turn into our lunge. We're gonna turn into our crescent lunge. Now facing your left knee, take the top of your right foot flat, press through the top of your right foot, and then inhale, reach on up. Exhale, hands frame that front foot. Now tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, spin your right heel down, straighten your left leg all the way and fold. So we're coming back to Parsvottanasana on the left side, dragging your left sitting bone back. Then open your right arm up into Trikonasana. Triangle pose, look up at the hand in the air. Long line from crown to tail, both feet pressing down. And inhale. <clears throat> And exhale, release, then press through your left foot. Step your right foot right forward. 
drop your tail, slowly come on up, reach your arms overhead. Then we're taking that half moon pose over to the left, reaching your right fingertips up and over, rooting through your right foot. Good. Inhale, right side. Exhale, come back to center. I think I got it all. Then inhale, sweep both arms up. Let's look up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Crown of head last. And inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down through heart center. Good. So we did that moon salutation. Now let's do the sun salutation. We're balancing out the yin and yang qualities. So press through your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Reach up, look up. Exhale, swan dive fold. One smooth motion, crown of head last. Inhale, pick up the belly, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, plant the palms, step back to plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly. One smooth exhale. Feet are flat. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward dog. Three to five breaths. If you're able to try and get into a place where you can ground your feet and hands into the actual earth. It's supposed to be very grounding, calming, soothing benefits of that. Shake your head. Feel the sitting bones lifting up with a nice long lengthened spine. And then lift your heels high, come all the way up onto tiptoes. Keep lifting your sitting bones up. Gently bend your knees. Look forward as you tiptoe right between the thumbs. And when you get there, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold belly to thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, press the hands down right through heart center. Good. Now interlace your hands back behind you. Drop your knuckles down, spread your chest. Exhale, slowly fold. Plant your palms and step into a tabletop position. Good. From tabletop, extend your right heel straight back. Flex that right foot. Strong press of the palms into the earth. Point your right toes toward the ceiling. Cover your left hand off the ground. Reach around, take your left hand, reach for the inside edge of your right foot. Kick the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Feel that left shoulder down onto the back. Keep lengthening your inner right knee straight back. As you inhale, lift the knee a little more. Exhale, gently release, walk your hands forward. Slide your right knee forward wider than the wrist. Take the top of your left foot flat. The right foot is flexed. Not coming all the way into pigeon, but having that Pigeon legs with the upright torso. The inner thigh, the left inner thigh is soft. So pressing through the top of that left foot. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look between your hands. Plant your palms, tuck your back toes, slide out into tabletop again. And then extend your left foot straight back. Roll your left hip down, hover your right hand. If it's available, point your left toes toward the ceiling, reach around with your right hand for the inside of the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Maybe look forward slightly. Inhale, exhale. Now walk your hands forward a little bit. Slide that left knee forward wider than your left wrist. For pigeon, top of right foot flat. Inner thighs scissor apart. Feel the top of that right foot melting into the ground. Ribs are in, gently look up. Shoulder blades peel down the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Plant your palms, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, and then slide back into downward dog again. Last downward dog. Walk your hands back a little bit. Then we're going to get a little buoyant, lifting the heels, lifting the hips, and take a light hop to bring your knees right between the thumbs, cross your ankles, sit behind your heels, thumbs up, uncross, flex your feet, good, and slide your legs out straight, reach for your toes, 
Gently pull your toes towards your body. If you can't get the toes, take your ankles or shins. Move your chest toward your chin. My voice is a little tired and fast because I just woke up. <laughs> Good. And then drop the tail and slowly we're going to come down onto your back. And rest onto the ground. Anytime you're feeling stressed, you might want to go outside, walk barefoot in the grass, or even lay on the earth. For a few moments. Gently hug your right knee in towards your body for a squeeze and then extend your right leg back out. Hug your left knee in, give it a gentle squeeze and then extend your left heel back out. Wag your toes, reach your arms overhead, inhale, exhale, draw both knees in, pull happy baby, reaching for the outside edges of the feet and rocking sky above is nice and blue. A nice breeze flowing by in this beautiful town, Rockport, Mass, that I'm in, where I grew up. Little island all the way north of Boston. Good. And then bring your feet together, knees splay open. Rest your hands on your belly. Scan your body. Trace the line from crown of head to tail. And squeeze your knees in, bring your feet on the ground. Let your knees knock into touch and pause here for Shavasana. We're taking Shavasana in a constructive rest position with the feet wide apart, knees knocking into touch. Let the lower back be really broad. The inhale, fill the belly, and the exhale, empty the belly out all the way. Stay here as long as you want, unwinding, letting the ground support you. When you're ready, gradually roll to the left-hand side. Rest with the head in the crook of the arm. Invite compassion for wherever you're at today and gratitude for anything at all. And when you're ready, slowly press up. Finding an upright seat. Rub your hands together. Take the warmth of your hands, place them right on your belly. Give a little press. Draw those shoulder blades right down the back. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and trust on the journey. Thank you very much. See you next time.